Hey guys, Mike here. So we're going to talk about in this video finishing concrete for this two level patio pour. Now, part one of this video, I showed you how we poured the concrete and I'll have that linked down in the description and also at the end of the video, it'll pop up so you can go check out how we poured the concrete around this thing. But this is part two and we're going to show you how we finish the concrete for this concrete patio slab. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put a stamp finish on this. It's going to be a stone texture finish. And the, the trick about this was it was, you know, a very narrow area. It was tight quarters. The access was very limited. And we had some parts in the sun and parts in the shade, as you can see. Now for you guys that don't know me, my name's Mike Day. Uh, I own this website, everythingaboutconcrete.com, in this, in this YouTube channel. I also own Days Concrete Floors where we specialize in all types of concrete flat work. So if you guys if you guys like concrete stuff, then go ahead down there and hit subscribe now. I come out with a couple videos a week showing you how to work with concrete, how to be successful with concrete. So what we're doing is I'm I'm mag floating the surface. As you can see, I was getting out all the bull float lines, any imperfections, and getting the surface ready for stamping. And we had to start in this one corner, which is actually where we kind of finished up pouring. We started pouring the slab way down the other end on, on that lower level. But because this is the first corner the sun hit, this is where we had to start stamping. So it, it turned out all right because this is where our, our access was. This was the only access to, was this side right here. So the first thing we're doing is we're throwing down the release powder charcoal release powder and that's going to help keep the stamps from sticking to the surface plus it also adds a secondary color to the concrete as we finish now we we did add an integral color in the concrete it was a dark darker gray integral color there you can see me mag floating and that was that was one of the challenges was that shade part wasn't drying anywhere near as fast as the part in the sun so we had kind of had to let that sit a little bit longer and if you can see, we're just stamping over to that shade and sun line. We're not stamping too, too far into the shade because the concrete was still a little too soft. So what we're doing is we're working our way down this one side, down to the other end, and then we're going to have to turn around and come back up that side with the shade. What Darren doing, is doing right there is he's rolling some texture onto that edge that was like a rock foundation under that building. Wait, what? So it was very jagged and nothing really straight to go by. So we're trying to get some good texture along that edge using that roller. And that just, you know, then we'll go over it with the stamp. And that just helps okay, ensure that, you know, everything gets good texture on it. That roller has a stone texture to it also. All these tools, you know, the roller, the stamps, Anything you see us using in the video will be linked down in the description if you want to check them out. These these stamping mats are really good to use. Um, the guys have these special flat-soled shoes that they step into with their regular shoes. So that helps them with the stamping process. It doesn't leave any heel marks through the stamps. And it just helps get a little bit better texture by, by using those flat shoes to just lightly step on the stamp. These stamps are really thin, so it's pretty easy to leave a, you know, a divot in it with just the weight of your feet or a heel mark or something. So you want something really flat when you're walking on them. Now you can see we're going, we're stepping down to that second, that first level, actually the lower level, and now we're working our way down towards the end and getting into some of that shade. And that's where we very first started pouring. So. It is pretty firm down there at this point. This is probably, you know, an hour and a half to two hours after we got done pouring. We had to wait for it to set up quite a bit because a lot of it was in the shade the way the sun came up between these two buildings. This, this area was a total of about, you know, 15 to 16 feet wide. And obviously it was in between two brick buildings. And this is part of a part of a restaurant this is going to be a sitting area so you know make sure you hang out to the end to see what the finished product looks like it's going to look really really cool i think you're going to be really surprised at how this turned out how well this turned out the restaurant just wanted more seating area you know they were kind of competing with a restaurant across the street 
that opened up a new outside seating area and so they kind of thought they needed the same type of thing because they were losing customers that wanted to sit outside in the good weather so they decided to to remake this this basically it was just a walkthrough area from a parking lot down to the street into a useful space that they could put a bunch of tables and chairs and sit people out here so now we're working our way back up the shade wall this this part of the concrete hasn't seen any sun nor will it because of the way the sun goes down behind the building so it, as far as setting time it was quite a bit behind the part that's in the sun there's also a trench drain over there that you can't see because we got it covered up with the release powder but if you watch the video where we pour this thing you'll see how there's a trench drain up against that building that all this concrete slopes do to help take care of the water so we're we're just finishing up the stamping process and coming right up you're gonna see the, the finished product of what everything looks like when it was all finished off and done So hang out for that. That that was the last stamp we pulled off. Darren's just going to touch up that one little piece with the roller, and the finished product is coming right up. All right, guys. So this is the finished product. They uh, they really decked this out, and made it look nice. They put a nice louvered louvered uh, roof over this so they can close it when it rains and open it when it's nice out. They got it fenced off. They got all the chairs and seats in here. And this is the finished floor here. They got it all washed down. You can see how it steps up of the two different levels. It goes right up into actually a third level that we stamped. That's not on the video. So let's go up top and check that part out. All right, so this is what it looks like from the top. Here's this third level. We actually had some stairs in here we stamped. It's another patio area over here that's just a broom finish but this is the stamp concrete part this is the third level that's not on the video so we did this afterwards got another set of stairs right here walks down so this is where we started we sawed this into squares to make it look like big huge pieces of rock that's what it turned out like 